Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat na mga delegates all over the country. Itong ating the most uh, awaited and anticipated uh, J12 National Conference. At ako'y naniniwala na may gagawin ang Diyos sa ating pong conference na gaganapin. At si Lord may pinag-prepare na pagpapala sa bawat isa sa inyo. So today po, gusto ko lang ishare sa inyo ang mensahe na pinagkaloob ng Diyos sa aking puso. At ang title ng ating sermon, sabi dito, Overcoming your own, there is nothing out there. Ito po ang ating talakayin at ang ating text po na basihan natin sa ating discussion. Punta tayo sa 1 Kings chapter 18, beginning at verse 41 hanggang verse 46. Basahin ko sa inyo, And Elijah said to Ahab, Go eat and drink, for there is the sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went off to eat and drink, but Elijah climbed to the top of Mount Carmel, bent down to the ground and put his face between his knees. Go and look toward the sea, he told his servant. And he went up and looked. There is nothing there, he said. Seven times Elijah said to go back, and the seventh time the servant reported, a cloud as a small as a man's hand is rising from the sea. So Elijah said, Go and tell Ahab, Hitch up your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. Meanwhile, the sky grew black with clouds. The wind rose, a heavy rain started falling, and Ahab rode off to Jezreel. The power of the Lord came on Elijah, tucking his cloak into his belt. He ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Israel. So, bigyan kong malaking focus yung verse 43. At at the same time, yun po ang title ng ating sermon. Sinabi dito, go and look toward the sea. He told his servant. And he went and looked and looked. At ang sabi, there is nothing there. Now, this is the subject that we will ponder upon in this conference. There is nothing out there. Now, itong ating karanasan na there is nothing out there is basically an everyday experience. ba? Diba? For minsan, titingan tayo sa itong mga refrigerator, naku, wala tayong makita kahit ano. So, there is nothing out there. Minsan, sa ating mga wallet, habang titingnan natin, there is nothing out there, maliban sa mga official receipts siguro na dyan sa wallet natin. Titingin tayo sa ating mga cellphone, mayroon tayong inaasahan na magtitext sa atin, pero talagang walang dumating na message papunta sa ating cellphone. Titingnan natin yung ating mga packets, minsan wala tayong makuha, wala tayong makita. So it is a common experience itong sinasabi that there is nothing out there. So mga kapatid, Paano ba natin ito ma-overcome itong tinatawag na there is nothing out there? So as we look at the context or background sa verse na ating binasa ngayon, basically there was a severe or famine, drought na nananyari po sa nation po ng Israel. At alam naman natin pag drought po ang pag-uusapan, na kumatindi po ang impact niyan. Pag hindi mag-ingat, ang mga tao pong mga may mga hininga, mga living things na sinasabi, hindi po magtagal sila'y mamamatay. Kasi wala na ang pagkain. So there will be shortage of water as well as food, scarcity all over, kasi napakatindi po yung drought na sinasabi. At ito po ang naranasan po sa nation po ng Israel. Itong chapter 8 and 1 Kings, bago po ito nangyari, mayroon na pong sinasabi si Elijah sa 1 Kings chapter 17. Gumawa siya ng isang prophecy addressing the nation of Israel that there will be famine all over the land. At ngayon na, nagkatotoo. So ang Israel, nakaranas po ng matinding famine, matinding drought all over the country. So the atmosphere was greatly affected. Everybody was affected. There was a complaint and there was even uh, murmuring, complaining all over the country kasi wala nga silang makakain, walang maiinom. At hindi lang ganon, crimes are beginning to arise and people instead of uh, coming to the Lord, they are blaming each other and complaining. 
So basically, yun po ang mangyayari. So that was the nation of Israel. So mga kapatid, as we ponder upon the story, do not just think, do not just only think of the nation of Israel. Let us begin to think of our own nation, the Philippines. Let us begin to think of our own society. Begin to think of our own community, even ourselves. Ang tanong na gusto kong ipadama sa inyo, ano bang klaseng famine or drought that is invading us, our nation, our community, our home, our family, and even ourselves? Anong klaseng drought or famine that is taking over our lives, our community, even our church? Siguro, hindi po literal na crisis like the nation of Israel ang ating naranasan. It can be a drought of relationship, insecurity, spirituality, and many other forms. So, ganun po ang kadalasan mangyayari sa ating mga buhay, even sa ating sariling community. So, kung balikan natin yung nation of Israel, of the drought that they have experienced, ang kagadahan dito, si Prophet Elijah, mayroon siyang narinig. In verse 41, sinabi dito, Elijah said to Ahab, Go eat and drink, for there is the sound of a heavy rain. So, galing po sa passage na to, gusto kong i-share sa inyo ang mga iba't ibang principles na makita natin sa context that will serve as guide on how we can also overcome our own there is nothing out there. Ang unang principle is here. Dapat may marinig tayo. We got to hear something that will counter our own situation. Pag tingnan natin sa context, grabe, sa kabila ng there was drought, there was famine, pero si Prophet Elijah may narinig siya. Hallelujah! Napagag ng balita to may narinig siya. So we got to hear something like Elijah in order for us to begin countering our own situation. Hallelujah! Kasi pag nadyan na po talagi, nakap, naka, nakapaligid yung mga krisis sa buhay natin and din wala tayong marinig upang ma-counter natin yun, nako, mahirap talaga ang ating maranasan. Pero ang kagadahan dito, Elijah heard something. According to the story, he heard that a sound of a rain that is coming. So he heard something. Hallelujah. And this is quite interesting. Kasi in the part of Elijah, hindi po siya uh, nagpatukso sa paligid. Hindi po siya nagpadisturbo sa paligid sa kanyang buhay. Kasi uh, ang lahat po halos na apiktuhan. Lahat po halos ay hindi na mapalagay. Kasi napakatili ang krisis. Pero ang kagadahan dito, Elijah heard something. So today po, mga kapatid, kung dalhin natin to sa ating mga sitwasyon, ang tanong ko, sa krisis nating inaharap, COVID-19 hanggang sa ngayon, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung ating karanasan. Pero ang tanong, are you hearing something that will counter your own situation like Elijah? The crisis that we are facing, that there is nothing out there that we are seeing every day, ang tanong, have we heard something in order to counter that situation meron tayo? So of course, hindi naman siguro kagaya kay Elijah na marinig nating personal ang tinig ng Diyos na ginagamit ni Elijah to counter the situation that he was facing. Pero sa ating panahon, ang lagi nating mapakinggan ay yung mga pangako ng Panginoon. So in the midst of drought, we got to open our ears and our understanding to begin listening and hearing to the promises of the Lord. Because in the Bible, God does not promise crisis and drought, but He promises blessing and abundance. Dapat iyon ang ating marinig. Sa oras na ito, sa krisis nating inaharap, hanggang sa oras na ito, mga kapatid, dapat ang marinig natin, iyong mga pangako ng Diyos, iyong mga pangako niyang abundance, rather than listening to what is happening sa ating paligid, crisis that is dominating the nation and even the whole world. Dapat ang ating mapakinggan, iyong mga pangako ng Diyos, blessings and abundance na sinasabi niya. So let us keep our ears open, even our understanding open. In the midst of crisis like Elijah, the people are complaining, but Elijah has done something instead of complaining. He was hearing something from God at ang sami, there is a sound of rain that is coming and that will be the solution of the crisis that the nation of Israel was facing sa panahon na yon. So is the Lord talking to you today? Magagawa tayo ng personal na application sa lahat po ng mga dumadalo, nag-tune in sa ating conference, mga pastors, mga leaders, 
sa sitwasyon na diyan ka, sa krisis na hinahanap mo, kung saan kang probinsya sa buong bansa, ang tanong, are you hearing something that will counter your own situation like Elijah? Because if you heard something from God, that will be a hope in your situation. You can begin facing your own situation and come up with a certain victory at the end because you heard something from the Lord God Almighty that is countering your own situation. So I challenge you to keep claiming your portion, the promises of the Lord, instead of listening to the crisis, the negative that is happening all over the world. Let's, beginning, let's begin opening our ears and our understanding sa mga pangako ng Panginoon. So, hearing is not enough. We have to pray. So, sunod po na makita natin dito, after hearing the sound of the coming rain, ang sunod po na ginagawa ni Elijah is in verse 42. So, Ahab went up to eat and drink. But Elijah climbed up to the Mount Carmel and bent down to the ground and put his face between his knees. So, makita natin dito na Elijah climbed up to the mountain and began to pray. So take note that when Elijah prayed, he did not pray for the sake of praying, but he focused praying on something that he has heard. He does not pray for nothing, but he prayed for something that he has already heard and even so in the spiritual realm. And this is quite exciting. Hallelujah. Kasi minsan sa ating mga prayers, parang hindi tayo sugurado kung ano ba yung ipag-pray natin. Kasi hindi natin narinig sa Diyos kung ano pong dapat ipag-pray natin. Minsan narinig natin pero we are not willing and we are not that uh, consistent to persevere on what we heard heard. Pero dito po kakaiba si Elijah. Kung ano yung narinig niya, yun ang prayer niya. Pinufocus niya sa narinig niya sa kapanahon na niyon. So he prayed on something that he has already heard. So I challenge you, mga kapatid, sa ating mga prayers. Dapat i-focus natin sa mga narinig natin at kiniklaim natin na mga pangako ng Diyos. And that was what Elijah did. He climbed up to the mountain and began to pray on what he has heard. He heard of the sound of the coming rain at doon po niya pinupokus ang kanya mga prayer. So dito, mga kapatid, Hearing is not enough. You have to bring to the Lord in prayer what you have heard from Him. So let's move on. Praying is not even enough. So ang una po, sinabi ko, you have to hear. Pangalawa, you have to pray. Pero hindi po enough na may marinig at hindi po enough na mag tayo. Ang sunod po na ginagawa ni Elijah dito is expect. In verse 43, sinabi nito, go and look toward the sea, he told his servant. And he went up and looked. There is nothing there. He said, seven times Elijah said to go back. So, makita natin dito na yung sinabihan po ni Elijah ang kanyang servant, I want you to see uh, something right there over the sea. Kung mayroon ka nang makita. Pero sinabi ng kanyang servant, no, wala ako nakita. So, paano po ino-overcome ni Elijah to? Nakikinig ba siya? At naniniwala ba siya sa sinasabi ng servant niya? Okay, kung wala kayo nakita, di uwi na tayo. Hindi po. Sinabi ng scripture seven times, sinasabihin ni Elijah ang kanyang servant to go back and look at the sea and look at the sky kung may makita ka na. This is a picture of how Elijah manages and even overcome his own there is nothing out there. Sinabi niya seven times, balikan mo. Kasi alam ko may makita ka. Kasi narinig ko na parating na ang sound of the rain. Hallelujah. So when you pray, you got to expect something. In fact, kaila kailangan talaga magpray tayo na nakabukas kung maari ang ating mga mata because we expect something. So mga kapatid, prayer is not enough. You have to expect what you have prayed galing po sa Diyos. Bakit pa mga kapatid mag-expect tayo habang magpray tayo? Kasi alam natin ang Diyos hindi po magsisinungaling. Amen? Kung sinabi niya, talagang mangyayari yon. Ang importante lang na tayo ay consistent to really pray, consistent to hear, and consistent to expect what we have prayed for. Because the Lord is not like a man. Kasi ang tao minsan magsisinungaling. But the Lord does not. God is not a liar, sinabi ng Bible. What He promised, He's able to make it. 
Hallelujah! In fact, sa aking paniniwala, ang mga pangako ng Diyos, the promises of God are no longer promises, but they are our possessions. Sinabi ng Bible, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. So today, as you hear something from the Lord, bring it to prayer, and then expect that what you have prayed will really come to pass. Kasi ang mga pangako ng Diyos, talagang mangyayari yon. And of course, tuloy-tuloy tayo sa uh, sinasabi po dito ni Elijah. Pagdating po sa sunod na verse, oh, kasi dito, sabi niya, balikan mo. Oh, balikan mo, tingnan mo. Because Elijah expects something. Oh, he was expecting something that will really show up sa panahon na yon habang nag-pray siya. At hindi biro ang prayer na ginagawa ni Elijah. Nilagay niya ang kanyang ulo. Oh, parang inipit niya sa kanyang mga dalawang paa. Kasi, it's not easy, mga kapatid. He was paying the price, mga kapatid. If you want to expect something for God to really answer our prayer, we got to be willing to pay the price like Elijah. So he was hearing something. Ulitin ko. And then he prayed what he had heard. And then he expect that what he has prayed will really come to pass. Now let's move on. So pagdating natin sa sunod na verse, in verse 44, the seventh time the servant reported, a cloud as small as man's hand is rising from the sea. So Elijah said, Go and tell Ahab, Hits up your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. So it's not only expecting, but we have to act. Mga kapatid, it is crucial to really, uh, not only to pray, not only to expect, but we have to act what we have expected and what we have prayed. Elijah as a prophet, he has demonstrated a model. He was acting on what he was praying and he was acting on what he was expecting. Hallelujah. This is how he handles his own there is nothing out there. Seven times he acted upon. Ang sabi, go ahead, look at it seven times because if you want to realize and see what you have prayed for, praying is not enough. You have to act what you have prayed and this is what Elijah was doing here in this uh, passage na binasa natin sa iyo. So mga kapatid, he acted and manages his there is nothing out there seven times. If you want to translate your situation from being nothing to become something, you got to pay the price by acting upon. Hallelujah. There is a big difference when you put into action what you have prayed. Elijah acted what he has prayed. Commanding his servant to go, go back seven times, putting that into action seven times. At ang Bible sinasabi malinaw, pagbalik ng servant, nagsabi niya, there is a small cloud as big as a man's hand. Hallelujah, napakaganda po. So seven times, balik-balik ng servant, at last may nakita na po siyang as, as, as small as a man's hand. And because of that, Elijah was certain that God is about to send the rain. Elijah was certain that God is about to explode the rain for the nation of Israel. So pagdating po sa verse 45, makita natin dito. Meanwhile, the sky grew black with clouds. The wind rose, a heavy rain started falling. And Ahab rode up to, Jerusalem, to Israel. And then in verse 46, mabasa natin. The power of the Lord came on Elijah and tucking his cloak into his belt and he ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Israel. So the rain did come. Hallelujah. And this is the answer of Elijah's prayer. Sinabi na scripture, The sky grew black and the clouds with wind rose and a heavy rain started to fall upon the nation of Israel. There was rain. Hallelujah. So mga kapatid, grabe po ang ginagawa ni Elijah dito. Makita natin mga kapatid <clears throat> kung paano po ina-address ni Elijah ang kanyang problema. There is nothing out there. There was no rain. But Elijah heard a sound of a rain. And then Elijah prayed for it. Then Elijah expect for it. And then he acted upon what he has prayed for. And according to the story, there was rain exploding.
Ito po ang, ang mensahe na mabasa natin sa 1 Kings chapter 18. Pero ang tanong, ano bang drought na ating hinaharap ngayon? Ano bang krisis na ating hinaharap sa ating kapanahunan? Kayo po mismo ang nakaalam kung anong mga krisis na ating mga hinaharap. Pero ang model na ating nakita sa scripture, as demonstrated by Elijah, he heard something to counter his own situation. And then he begins praying for it. And then begin expecting for it. And according to the scripture, because he expected what he has prayed, and he acted what he has prayed, God sent an explosion of rain for the nation of Israel. Na mawag katugun, iyon po ang katugunan sa kanilang krisis na hinaharap. Ngayong araw na to, habang narinig niyo ang mensahe, babalik tayo sa ating mga tahanan, sa ating lugar, sa ating mga probinsya kung saan tayo nagbiminister. Kung nadyan po yung mga krisis, patuloy natin hinaharap. Huwag niyong kaligtaan. Elijah has demonstrated a model on how to face our own there is nothing out there. Hallelujah. As you begin to face your own there is nothing out there, you will be able to overcome them like Elijah. Just begin to hear something from the Lord. Begin to pray. Begin to expect and even act on what you have prayed. I am certain that there is no crisis. There is no something that is out there na hindi natin malutas at hindi natin magampanan. God is in our side. He is always with us, helping us to overcome our own crisis na hinarap sa ating panahon. So God bless po para sa ating lahat. Habang kayo mag-pray sa inyo, habang nadyan kayo sa inyong mga tahanan, nag-tune in sa ating uh, uh, conference ngayon, pwede bang ilagay niyo ang mga kamay niyo sa puso niyo as I declare blessing. Kayo po ang nakalam at ang Diyos mismong nakalam kung anong crisis meron tayo. But today you heard the word. Kaya mong ma-overcome ang krisis mo in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for what we have heard today. Elijah is setting a model on how to overcome his own crisis. His own, there is nothing out there. Unang-una, Lord, he heard something. Help us, God, to open our ears as well so we would be able to hear something from you, Lord. And after that, Elijah prayed for it. Help us, God, to bring our knees in prayer of what we have heard from you. We will focus our prayer on what you have promised and we will claim it every day, Lord. God Almighty, ang iyong mga anak sa bawat hana, nakita mo ang kanilang mga krisis din, Lord. Ang mga there is nothing out there na hinaharap na, Lord. But today, God, salamat sa iyong salita. We can make it. You're able to address all of our crises and needs kasi na dyan ka, Panginoon. As we expect and as we act of what we have prayed, we will trust you, Lord, that you will send the blessing, send the rain, send the fire, at lahat po ng mga pangailangan na iyong mga nakay matugunan. Maraming salamat, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen.